The so-called legato technique is one aspect of guitar player's left hand mechanical movements that beginners quite often find difficult to get started with. I'm going to explain to you what the legato technique is made up and give you some practical exercises that help you to get started. Of course, mastering a good and fluent um, legato technique is a matter of uh, a few years practicing, but a few weeks proper sports will take you to the first level where you actually can execute pull-offs and so-called hammer-ons. Pull-off means that you make sound with your left hand fingers only. Right hand is doing nothing. And the first exercise is on the sixth string you should put all your fingers to the corresponding frets. First on the first fret and fourth on the fourth. And important is that you don't press the string down. You just put the fingertip close to the fret and now pluck as you do with the right hand normally. And the movement ends up with a finger resting on the next string, in this case string number five. Third finger, second, first. string and always the movement ends on a neighbor string. This is the most common way of executing legatos and um, the other way would be to pluck the string with a finger that is not touching the neighbor string. Sometimes if you need that the neighbor string also is sounding then you don't want to touch it. When you can do it with the open strings and then you can add the right hand and start things like that. So you hold down the first finger Let's say on the second string, on the first fret, and now the second finger is on the second fret, and you pluck the string with the right hand finger, and the second note is played by left hand only. And be sure that the first finger is really very stable here. Okay, and then you take another pair. Second and third. And using fourth finger in pull offs may be a little bit tricky in the beginning, but actually, fourth is a very strong finger. And then the other pairs, second and fourth, first and fourth. Actually, I played through all possible combinations between fingers, single fingers and pairs of fingers. And if you can do this, then for the beginning is a very, very good thing. And the other side of the legato technique is so-called hammer-on. That means you use your left hand fingers again to make the sound. But in this case, you don't pluck the string but instead you hammer your finger on a string close to the fret that makes sound. Again, you should begin without right hand, so only left hand is playing. And the first goal is actually to, to hit the strings properly, that you don't miss them. Just start knocking on the second fret on the sixth string with your middle finger. First, it's 
not so easy. It's a good and strong finger. In the beginning it tends to miss the string. Fourth, again, fingertip is very small, actually finger is strong. And then use again combinations. One, two, one, three, one, four, three, four, two, four, one, three. You can play it on all strings. And uh, then you can uh, start combining those two exercises. For example, take just uh, a second string and you can play. So it took just uh, two minutes to show those exercises, but you should do uh, those at least a few weeks, if not more. I'm still doing this, um, but it's my 16th year or even 17th year of practicing, properly practicing the guitar. And still I find some things about the legato technique quite difficult. And it's like sports, you cannot um, say that it's done and uh, now you stop and now you have mastered all the movements needed to play the guitar and you stop you will lose it again